Hi, my name is Maggie, and this is a video for Google Slides. To find Google Slides, you go to the Google Apps waffle icon and click it. This gives you a list of the different Google Apps. If you cannot find the apps that, the app that you are looking for right away, scroll down and you, you can see another set of apps. Find the Google Slides icon and click it. This takes you to the Slides home screen. There you see a row of five boxes. This is where you can start a new presentation, either blank or from a template. If you want to find more templates, click Template Gallery. Below that are your recent presentations. Here is where you can change it to be owned by different people, the list, view, short options, and open a file picker. Scrolling down, you see this little plus sign up here. This is where I can create a new presentation while still looking at your old ones. These three dots on the side are where I can change the title, remove it, open a new tab, and create it available offline depending on whichever one I clicked. Up here is the search bar where I can search for different presentations that may be further down. Clicking on the blank section, this takes me to an untitled titled presentation ready for me to create and customize. Up here is where I can change the title. And then once I do that, and I click away, it tells me that it is saving. This is how I know that everything that I do here is saved. I can move it to a different folder and start to by clicking on these buttons. If I want to store something, this means that I put it in the section of Google Drive so I know exactly where it is without having to look anywhere else. When you start a new one, you see this sidebar come up. This is the themes. This is where I can change it to make it my own and however I want it. So say I click this one right here. This is basically how my presentation will look in the themes. If I then I can close that away. Here, without clicking on any text boxes, you can see where I can add new slides and change the layout of each. The print, undo and redo. Text and image, and here's where I can change the background color. If I want to change it to a gradient, and I can customize it. I can change my own gradient and make it my own color that I I think would look the best. I can click OK, and then it adds my own gradient to that. I can also change the transition, which would be how my slide plays in when I'm presenting it. I can click whichever one I want, click play, and that's how I'll set it up. Up here is where I can make a copy, download it, rename it, move it to a folder, move to trash, and scrolling, scrolling down is where I can find print. Edit are where I can find shortcuts. View is where I can change how I'm viewing the screen and change how I view it. So if I want to change it to grid view, I can go down here and then switch it back right there. Insert is where I can make audio and video. If I want an audio clip, I can either look it up. If, if I've made any audio, I can find them there. I can also insert a video. And I can do that and search it up and type one. And then I can insert it into a little video clip. I can also do images with the search bar on the side as well as word art, which would be and it helps me to customize how I want it and is kind of like a text box, just symbol like that. Can also put in a diagram and charts. Format, if I click on a text box, it gives me all the format options you would find in a Google Docs. I can also animate it. While clicking on here, I can click on format, and this would give me the tools I can find here and in here. Say I want to animate something, and I want to animate this. I can go here, click animate, and this would give me the sidebars the same way that I put in a transition. I can pick however one I want, and then click.
play. So it would basically do how I would present it. And that's how it would do. M moving on, here's where I can create a slide by duplicating it, deleting it, skipping, and change background. So if I click new slide, then I could change however I wanted it by going here in layout and clicking that. Tools are where I can find things like spelling and dictionary. Add-ons are apps that I can find to help me while I'm working on this. And then there's also help. This is where I can find the last edit was made seconds ago. I can find different versions of whatever I'm working on and click restore to this version. And that would take me to this. If I don't want it, I can just go back out. Here's where I can share it with other people so they can be on the same presentation as if I was working on like a project with them. And then here's present where I can present whatever I'm doing. Here is where I can select which slide I want to start on. There's notes, the pointer, looks like that. I can exit the options, and then here is where I can click play, which will basically run through my slide for me and transition through. If I want, I can also use the arrow keys and escape to exit. This was a tutorial for Google Slides. I hope it helped you. Have a great day. Bye.